Hello, everyone. Christopher, hello, sir. As always, my name is Jeb Aspie. Also, uh, my name is Joe Ash, also known as Jeb Aspie. <clears throat> Welcome to another episode of Stardew Valley. It has been a long time. It is good to be back. Christopher, how have you been, sir? Excellent. All right, let's check the weather because today is the first day of fall. What is the weather report going to be? Welcome to KOZU5, your number one source for weather news and entertainment. And now, the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. That's nice to hear for for fall. Let's get to living off the land. Welcome to living off the land. We're back again with another tip for y'all, so listen up. Let's talk sunflowers. When you harvest them, you'll not only get a nice flower, but you'll likely get some seeds as well. You can replant those seeds or sell them. I'm sold. I'm sold. Aw, oh, pretty fall colors. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. All right, let's see. So... Is that corn? That may be corn. Um, okay. We, first of all, let's water. Water, water, water our plants. We're watering our plants that we have so far. Okay, almost done. <laughs> it's not where I wanted to water. Mm. And you. Okay. Wow, that took so much less time. Well, of course, there's a lot that we haven't planted yet, so. Yeah, no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we need to get busy with this. Can we get rid of these? Are these easy to get rid of? Okay. That's not what I meant to do. Silly, silly. Hey, stop it. Stop being so silly. Stop it, Christopher. It's not what you're supposed to be doing. Goodness gracious. Why is a raven like a writing desk? Hmm. Stop it, Christopher. You need glasses. All right, let's, let's try to do this right now. Oh, dear me. Mm -hmm, that was close. Okay. All right, so this is a five by five, which means there's 25 spaces, and we already got two filled up. So we got 23 here, 25 there. Okay. And we've got 15 already, so we need 10, and then 23, so we need 33. Sure. I'm going with that. Boink. Boink. All right. 
Hopefully I am correct in my assumptions and my assertions. We shall see. We shall see. Hey, look at that. Math. Sometimes it works. I guess really what what uh, what it should be is math. Sometimes I do it right. The music's so pretty. I love it. That's also very helpful for us uh, to know because now we know that we need 20 or 48 crops. Okay. Ladies. No, don't. Don't do that, Christopher. Oh, you guys already have food. Okay, that's, that's good. We'll let you out. Oh, my. Not a baby anymore. Does that mean... Does that mean we, we can get some milk? Does that mean we can get some milk? I'm kind of curious to see if we can get some milk from these cows. Let's see here. Okay, that's not how you do it. Oh my goodness, we're getting milk! That's pretty cool. Just saying. Sweet. All right. All righty there, sir. Um, let's see. What are we? What are we doing here? Oh, we're making mayonnaise. Making that mayonnaise. Uh, you go in there, you go in there. You guys can get sold. You go in there for now. You can get sold too. And then we'll do some checking. Okay, so. Da, 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 da. Yes. All right, now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's look for some fall foliage. Is there anything to forage in the fall? Are there is there foliage to f forage in the fall? I don't know why I want to talk like the Mad Hatter from Disney's Alice in Wonderland. Of course, it doesn't really sound exactly like him. Just it's this. It's his distant cousin. All right. What do we need to collect for the fall? Hello, Junimos. How are you doing? Artisan bundle. Fall crops bundle. We need eggplant, pumpkin, yam. Those are definitely fall items. Uh, exotic fall. Okay. We've already got the common mushroom. We need wild plum, hazelnut, and blackberry. 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 <laughs> oh, I also wanted to check. There was the animal bundle, I believe. And I wanted to see if milk was in there. Right, no, it's the artisan bundle. Cheese is in there. Okay. Uh, <laughs> quality crops. Animal bundle. A giant thing of milk is in there. Gotcha. So once we get a lot of milk, we'll be able to fulfill that request. I'm Casey Kasham. I feel sad 
a little bit for people who are watching this that don't know who Casey Kasem is. But yeah, how you doing? How quickly the seasons change. It's shocking. Ah, it, I mean, they do change pretty quickly. You're right. It's already been two seasons. I've been here for two whole seasons. Wow. Uh, pumpkins, these take 13 days to mature. This take 13... Ooh, bok choy. You don't say. Ooh, and continues producing after first harvest. Okay. These these are... These would be good to get. Uh, let's... um, We need 48. Four, 48. Let's get 15 eggplants. So, now we only need 33 more. We'll get, um, we'll get 15 pumpkin seeds. Actually, we're gonna get... We're gonna get 25 pumpkins because, uh, this is part of the quality crops bundle, so we want to give ourselves the best chance of getting... Good... Uh, let's see... And we'll get five of those. Cranberry. And continues producing. And oh, holy smokes, those are expensive. Yeesh. Um, we'll get five of those. So let's see, what are we looking at here? We've got 40. Four, five, oops. <laughs> there we go. That should be right, right? So this is 30, 40, 48. Yep. Okay, good. Ooh, grapes. Grapes and amaranth and fairy seeds. We can make fairies? Goodness gracious. This is crazy. Oh my goodness. I want to make fairies. I have a fairy farm. We only have the finest selection of fairies here. <clears throat> Excuse me, if you heard that high-pitched squeal, that was actually coffee coming out of my coffee cup. Okay. Let's get the planting. Plant all the pumpkin seeds here first. Then we do all of the eggplant here. Then we do the yams there. And cranberries there. Now let's see, we got the pumpkin and the yams and the eggplants. What? Wait, what was the other one? Is it the corn? It might be the corn. I can't remember. I have to go and check. All of a sudden, I'm coming Swedish. Uh, okay, so to the bottom of the mine. Pam is thirsty. Mayor Shorts, Jody's request for a cauliflower. Sorry, Jody. That's going to take a little bit of time. <clears throat> What were we gonna do next? Oh, we need to replant the um the trees. You know, I kind of have uh, eh, uh, our axe. Oh, it's six forty. That's what we we need to get our axe. We need to get our axe together. <laughs> hey. All right. Um, meh, meh. Mm, there's something else we need to do. I know there is. I know there's something else we need to do. Come on. What is it? What is it? What is it? What, there's something in my head. And it don't look good. Who are you going to call? Head Busters. I know what it was. Good grief. No. Don't eat it. Uh, 
There. When we get our axe, we'll be able to, to make it all night again. You, you make it all night again. We got plenty of hay. Hey, hey. All right, Christopher. Excellent day's work, sir. Farm is back on track tomorrow. To Clint's. To the blacksmiths. Good night. And good morrow. It's nice that we're in a position now where we're starting to make money every day on the farm. Zas, zas pretty cute. All right, let's check what the weather's gonna be like tomorrow. Welcome to KOZU5, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. And now, the weather forecast for tomorrow. Uh, it's gonna be a rain all day tomorrow. Uh, actually, rain. Uh, rain. I think it's going to rain all day tomorrow, guys. I don't know what gave me that impression. I don't know why I think so, but I think it's going to rain all day tomorrow. You know what I mean? All right, now we water. So peaceful. You know, Christopher, we might want to start, I don't know, kind of putting ourselves out there a little bit. I mean, we've been here for a couple seasons now, and people are really friendly. And if this is really going to be your home, I just, I feel like it's worthwhile to um, maybe get to know the people around town a little bit. So, um, I mean, we, we've, we've certainly put in the effort to get to know Linus. And I think part of that is just because we we feel like we understand what Linus is going through. I mean, Linus is... I don't want to say he's antisocial, because that makes it sound like he doesn't like people or something like that. I just I feel like he is... It's either that he's very uncomfortable around large groups of people, or he's just really comfortable being by himself. Both of which, I mean, hey, you know, ladies... Both of which, um, you know, I mean, look, we understand. We're not necessarily to to the degree that, that he is. Um, but, I mean, yeah, we, we're socially awkward. I mean, the, the whole dance thing, that was, I mean, that was a big deal. It's a big deal, putting yourself out there like that. Um, it was unfortunate that, that you know, no one... Uh, decided to, to dance with you that day, but... I mean, that wasn't your fault, man. You you were, you know, you put yourself out there. So maybe if we just get to know people a little bit better, maybe they'll feel more comfortable around us. And, and I think part of that is just, you know, going out there and saying hi. Just saying, hey, how's everything going? You know, when, we, when we're in town and we have a chance to, you know, uh, greet someone. We should, we should take the chance. Can you let me through? Thank you. Okay. Back with you. Uh, can we make a cheese maker? Can we make a cheese maker? We can make a bee house, a keg. Uh, ooh, we can make a cheese press. In fact, we may have... We may have... The means to do that. Hmm. The 
the stone may be the only thing we don't have, if that's, if I'm thinking correctly. Yeah, the stone is the only thing we don't have. Okay. We'll, we'll put that on the side for now. We need to go into town and get our axe back. Mm. My nose was itchy. I had an itchy nose. Ooh, hazelnut. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Yep. What's that? Oh, there's Lee. Hey, let's let's go say hi. Wait, whose birthday is it now? Penny's birthday. Maybe we should... Hmm. Trying to keep the artificial alive. I'll pay 90 gold to any fisherman who catches three carp. Good luck, really. Excuse me. I mean, we'll, we'll say... Hey, Marnie! Hey, Marnie. My nephew Shane has been staying at my place the last few months. He helps me out with the chickens, so I'm not complaining. Well, that's good, Marnie. Hi, how you doing? How's it going? Oh, the ladies are meeting up for their daily thing. I wonder if Penny's there. I don't see her. Abigail, how are you doing? I try to help out in the shop on most days. Business has been pretty bad since the Jojo Mart opened, though. Oh, man. No. Say it ain't so. Ooh. I'm kind of tempted. You know, we're going to do it. Yeah. You got the deluxe pack. Your inventory space has increased to 36. Sweet. Look at all that room. Um... Gosh, I kind of... Do you think Penny would like a hazelnut? Mayor, how are you, sir? It was around this time of year when I first came... Became mayor over 20 years ago. That makes me feel really old. I, I understand. I understand, Mayor. You know, I was... <laughs> uh, bye. Never mind. Penny, are you in your house? There's Alex. Let's say hi to Alex. How you doing, Alex? The beach is a cool place to hang out and soak up some rays. You gotta spend some time in the sun or else you'll get all pale. <sighs> I wish there were more girls in this town. Know what I mean? I guess. I mean, I no, I don't actually. I'm sorry. And trust me, I get plenty of rays. Bro. Wait, wait, okay. Penny uh, is. She's sometimes teaching the kids. Aha! Found her. Oh, I found Elliot too. Say, I'll read thing. Hey, Penny. I'm tutoring Vincent and Chaz today. They're a handful, but it's nice to make a difference in someone's life. Oh, Penny, that's nice. I like that. Miss Penny says I have to read this book before I can go play. What? <laughs> Hi. Hey, Elliot. It's been said that a pirate ship full of plundered gold shipwrecked here a long time ago. Really? <laughs> wow. Hmm. You have piqued my interest. Yay! We have a steel axe. All right. And now we can process some geodes. Hey, we could use a stone. Why not? Uh, copper. Nah. Ooh. Celestine. Do we have Celestine already? Yes, we do. 
Some early life forms had bones made from this. I... <sighs> this is kind of risky, because I don't know if she's going to like it or not, but I mean, it's her birthday. Let's give it a shot. Penny? Happy, happy birthday? Oh, it's for my birthday? Thanks. Um, you're welcome. I, I hope you like it. I mean, she didn't say it was terrible like Haley did that one time or whoever that was. Good grief. I hope she liked it. It was given out of sincerity. It was given out of some sincerity. Hey, Lee, how you doing? I wonder if I could make a, col a collage out of dried leaves. They're just so colorful. I can't help but think of the potential for art projects. You know, I think I think that that would be pretty cool. Honestly, sounds sounds pretty nice. Let's uh, let's go check on our buddy Linus. See how he's doing. Maybe we can find some. Uh, uh, oh, what's that? Uh, the the other foraging item. It's a, it's a berry of some kind, I think. Oh, there's Sebastian. Hey, Sebastian, how are you doing? Pumpkin spice this, pumpkin spice that. Man, I do get sick of all these seasonal fads. Well, I'm sorry that you feel that way. You know, I kind of like pumpkin a lot, really, myself, but, you know. We know a lot about nature thanks to science, but there's always a lot more to learn. There is, Demetrius. There is always more to learn. Learning is a never-ending process. Uh, is Linus in his tent? No, he's not. He's down up by the river. Where is he? Hmm. Hmm. I hope he's okay. Uh, what were we going to do? Yes, that's what we were going to do. We are going to go back and uh, chop down some wood so that we can make room for the trees, so that we can regrow them. And... Send Fiat going to do some more foraging. Mr. Two Biggles. Hey, buddy. I'll be there in just a second. Mr. Two Biggles. Oh, there you are, buddy. How you doing? How you doing out there, Mr. Two Biggles? All right, let's see. How, where, he, hmm, ha, hmm, him and a. Trying to think of where I want these to go. I think I kind of want them to go here. Hmm. I can't figure out... Here, I'll cut this one down. Maybe... I'm trying to see what seeds it gives. Okay, acorns. Good. Okay, so now we know... No. I swear, sometimes you're just blind. Perfect. Okay, so... We'll do an acorn there. A... Whoop. Hip. Hip. We'll do you there. And then we need one more. <clears throat> Excuse me. We need a where where are you? Do I not have any? Are you serious? <sighs> Let's 
see here. You can get sold. I don't have that much more energy left for today, so I gotta be careful, but still, I need to get some more. I always called them helicopters as a kid. I think they're just called maple seeds in this game. Really? Nothing? Come on, man. Seriously? Okay, that's an acorn. Or uh, that's a, that's a, that's not an acorn, that's a pine cone. There we go, what is it? What are they, call yeah, they just call it maple seed in this game, okay. So we'll put you, Whitetail. And then you, my good friend, can go there. Okay, excellent. Well, I think that wraps up the first day of fall. Uh, I'm proud of you, Christopher. You, you like went out there and just kind of chatted it up with people. I mean, it's not, nothing groundbreaking happened, but still, I mean, well, no, it did. It did. Just doing it is groundbreaking. Just doing it is groundbreaking. I'm proud of you, sir. Proud of you for going out and talking to people. Just, you know, saying, hey, how's it going? Just kind of chatting it up and, and making yourself making your presence felt in the town it's a huge step for you i applaud you sir all right <clears throat> it's going to be raining tomorrow let's go ahead and light a fire uh i think yeah it's time for bed so christopher good night sir say good night to everyone thank you all right good night christopher all right everyone well that's going to do it for this episode uh, I just wanted to say it's nice to be back. Uh, thank you. I'm sorry that it took a while for me to get out there. I'm going to be making a video um, just about some stuff that's been happening just because I want to share some stuff with you guys about what's going on and whatnot. Um, <clears throat> and uh, I just want to say again for everyone that uh, continues to come back here and watch, I really appreciate it, you guys. It, it really it gives me a true sense of fulfillment. It's awesome. I thank you guys so much. And uh, if you haven't already, uh, hit that subscribe button. Uh, leave a like on the video if you liked it and a comment uh, about how, why you liked it and what you'd like to see in the future. Um, if you didn't like it, go ahead and leave a, a dislike and let me know why. Let me know what I can do to improve it. Um, but anyway, I will see all of you in the next video. Bye-bye.